This already started in a very interesting way, but uh, uh, we, I think we have uh, waited enough, so we're just gonna go with uh, Daybreak as game one for Commerce Mammo. And uh, the guys are taking uh, Com, uh, Supper Para, and again Supper Scout Gunner. Meanwhile, Mammo is going for Medic, Double Para, and Double NG. Any thoughts before think- the game starts? Uh, depending, if Mamma goes first, I reckon he's got a little bit of advantage, and depending on how well he uses his medic. Well, probably, but Daybreak map, uh, it kind of changed version of uh, Nightfall? Mm. Or not? Yeah, it's a day, day version of uh, Nightfall. Okay, cool. So, lots of pillboxes, uh, we will see. I strongly advise Mama in his state of mind to just get into the pillbox and uh, stay there. <laughs> Again, uh, uh, Mamo playing uh, in uh, light blue uh, today and uh, I suggest yeah. ADB to change the ribbon uh, uh, <laughs> the ribbon <laughs> for, uh, for Mamo in the ground. You mean light blue in terms of uniform? <laughs> I thought yes, of, uniform. about something different. Uh, well, uh, he, he's uh, he's in a he is in uh, his own uh, light blue state uh, uh, <laughs> at this time. Let's Ooh, put it like that. He didn't quite make it back into the pillbox. Nope. But uh, oh. this is uh, com playing, so uh, mm. I think that the key turn is coming right now. Like uh, the light blue medic, how well he will really perform and what decision he does. Yeah, this is very easy turn so far. You just need to heal and tranquilize. But uh, never mind. Depends on who he's gonna pick. It'd be interesting to see Mama's state of mind of what he's gonna pick. Uh, honestly, whoever, cause uh, like no medic, no grenadier, I suppose, or is there one? Probably is he running not. out of time to tranquilize? Oh. Oh. Oof. Og? Maybe. And- is he oh, run out of time? Oh. Yeah, I think he's gonna run out of time. He will ah! definitely do. It was possible, actually. But you know, possible, uh, but, uh, he's uh, playing with uh, a bit input delay, and I'm not talking about technical stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> self-imposed the uh, input delay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> means though he's left his medic in the open now. Oh yeah, exactly. And I've who is he playing today? Is it? Uh, what do you mean? Here come. Sorry, Nate, say again. So who is he playing again today? It's uh, Ircom versus uh, Mambo. <laughs> so, yeah, Ircom. Sorry, I misread that. So I'm thinking Ircom's got a uh, slight advantage now, how we can get rid of his medic very quickly. Mm, yes, it's true. Like, medic is uh, very vulnerable right now. Oh, and those styles are not slippery uh, in comparison to Knight, uh, Fall, or how is this yes. map called? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, I confirm. Nice. Uh, I think we are... Uh, all... Magical voice uh, just confirmed that it was uh, actually Nightfall. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well put, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, hello everyone. It's 16 people on stream watching uh, the biggest ever Grand League playoff match between Mamach and Ircom. Stakes as high as they never been. Then because Revan is definitely uh, able to hype up uh, the crowd when it when it's yeah, near. Because the winner of this uh, uh, map uh, and this game, uh, this best of three, got huge chances to get into the middle league, and this is a ticket to Hoxavor main league. It is true indeed, uh, and uh, considering that. We will uh, at least uh, park three of the players uh, coming from uh, the top spots of Grand League into Middle League. It, uh, it this is a, a game that definitely it's it's heavy to yeah. 
to continue play in the summertime, uh, which uh, which is when uh, we will have the the middle league uh, dates to be defined. Uh, just uh, just saying, but uh, yep. Yeah, I'm I, I'm absolutely loving it. We got the biggest stream going for a while, followers, and look at the look at the crowd at the moment. Everyone's coming in, watching. Actually, great play by Mama. He's yeah. uh, just hiding and dealing damage. And uh, I would say, in any state, it's a great uh, gameplay. And when you are not mm. as elastic with your controls as usual, um, but look at that uh, health bar. How is it so big? Advantage to Ircom. Probably a couple TNT. Just really good shot there. Yeah, you should consider that he that that uh, Mammo started with a TNT with oh, the, yeah. uh, a healing on the TNT that come made and then missed the first shot uh, with the pillbox. But he is in control of two of the pillbox, which gives him a plus hundred uh, health uh, technically. So mm -hmm. I don't know. The, the game still has a lot to offer. Irkom is trying to do something strange, probably just uh, taking better position. I don't know. Now, is he gonna uh, poison himself? Hmm. He's got a chance he could poison himself, or he's gonna go round. Is he actually listening to us? <laughs> I got no idea, but <laughs> it seems Ooh. like not. Aha, yeah. uh -huh, he's trying to crush a pillbox with a shrapnel and probably deal damage while doing so. Look at that. For some reason, it it feels like a um, couple of commentators are watching game in delay, guys. I, I see it the exact same as I'm seeing. <laughs> so I'm seeing him just going towards the pillbox now. Okay, uh, Gunner tried to jump in. I, I am definitely watching the stream that uh, uh, ADB is offering, which is also the stream uh, uh, mm -hmm. the guys that uh, the things that the guys are seeing on screen right now. So. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, let's see this shot. Uh, it would honestly have been better to choose Mortar here, but look at that. He destroyed his own pillbox. Mama is as close to come back as uh, it's possible today. I guess he got good lineup. Like, uh, imagine him uh, tranquilizing on first turn, like healing and tranquilizing. It would have been a huge advantage. Right now, it's, uh, I would say, equal game. Yeah, it's very eco. Oh, fast inputs. Oh, what? oh, no, 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 he's gonna get... Mine! Okay, okay, <laughs> let him cook! <laughs> if, that, if that was me, I would have hit the mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're fine. He's still in, he's still in, guys. I guess Mamok right now is kind of underdog. Nice spin. He is also the favorite of the crowd at the moment, since uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, drunken yeah, gaming supporters uh, in chat at the moment. I would say that um, Ircom, uh, from what I see right now, uh, his um, decisions a bit influenced by, I would say, uh, nerves. Oh, is he not going for the skip turn? He could have got the skip turn on the medic, couldn't he? I think he will, but uh, he will try to collect some stuff and uh, like use his yeah. timer. How much Red Bull? Uh, I'm not drinking Red Bull. Uh, Monster is the way. A lot. <laughs> but there's yeah. a nice skip turn there. Oh, ah, he almost combined them. Almost. And indeed, a uh, skip turn. Great one. Great management. Uh, in uh, game yesterday we saw of Vaxi against Drew, uh, like Vaxi was not able to time uh, properly a turn skip. And Ircom, we've seen a huge skill, huge potential from this player. Yeah, a bit combining, probably bazooka on top of that. Wow, he can even push them into the minefield. This is very important, Bazooka. Oh, he's mm -hmm. bunching up there. He can get the double. Yes, you can even do self-damage if uh, it will allow you to make a better... Uh, better shot. 
Uh, yes, it's not mine, not mine, XY. Silence him. I, I don't have cats, so though. No. <laughs> it's not mine, I got a dog. Hopefully he's not wolfing, uh, meowing. I usually got uh, uh, an old lady, like, screaming for uh, for the cats, uh, like, uh, by name. And uh, that, that can happen at any at, at any time of the day, like 3 a.m., uh, 4 p.m., that, it doesn't matter. Just This lady just screams the name, like, Roddy, or whatever, so... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Look at that. I guess it's the only way Mammoth can somehow come back into the game, just deal those uh, pillbox shots, because um, Hell's Bar is uh, cruel, cruel. That was probably a game deciding uh, bunching up from Ircom uh, turn uh, before. Yeah, I feel like uh, if he did really hit that uh, the bazooka on the minefield, that would have probably yeah. shield, but there's there's still uh, you know a little bit of a game left. Although it's turning rapidly on the to to the yellow team. Yeah, yeah. I can agree to that. I just think he's made slightly better choices. Yeah, overall uh, he's like also the fact that Mamoch is not able to gain that uh, player 1 advantage by not mm. executing his turn with Medic is also a huge deal. Uh, let's see, is he out of uh, shots? Probably not. I feel not. No, he's got that pick there. He's got... Oh! Yep. Wait, luck, luck. luck. Oh, what's going on? Mods, mods. Okay, nice. <laughs> Oh, he he got lost, a lot lost of balance, and he had had to take a little bit of a <laughs> second to recover the balance. <laughs> I'm seeing it there. Hope it's dizzy. <laughs> because ADB had to finish vacuum, and yeah, yeah, that's why he's not there. To be fair, Mamaf has been really solid with them pillbox shots. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a good strategy, like, uh, the only problem I see, Irkom is still dealing damage, because he is ignoring mm -hmm. pillboxes, yeah, he destroyed his own pillbox, but uh, it happens. Uh, it seems like he's focused on uh, remaining picks, which is a huge uh, factor of this game. <laughs> so, uh, according to Chris, the reason for that pause was uh, Mama was pouring himself another one. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> X-Buy got an old lady locked in his apartment. Aha, X-Buy? <laughs> Explain. I already explained in chat, uh, don't, don't worry. Okay. Uh... I don't even know uh, which is better, to bunch them up or to try and aim in for the mine. I guess whatever, just do your turn. I think he's going for the mine. Yeah. Is he going to body block afterwards? Yeah, he's going to body block. Okay, okay. Same, solid turn. <laughs> yeah, Agar, definitely. Beer is winning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, reported. <laughs> Mr. KB, see you I in think prison. This is just like, uh, um... Uh, service communication for our magical voice. He can't just come in, uh, in into the commentary and just scream. Uh, he just need to calm down a little bit for his, with his reactions. Uh, <laughs> end of, uh, too much end of the internal communication. Now. I don't see any Mammoth speaks besides pillboxes, so I guess the game is uh, heading to, I guess, new chapter where uh, pillboxes uh, will gain damage, something like that, will absorb damage. Ooh, what a shot. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Mabak is sticking to his strategy of uh, machine guns, machine guns. Or should I say heavy machine guns? <laughs> I think Mammoth's left him a little bit too much to do now, but it'll be interesting to see what he does next. Okay, Mammoth said sorry before the game, so I guess he's <laughs> forgiven. Mm. 
Ooh. Simple. Fancy, fancy. Wait, it's a skip turn because he got something 40, 40 something. 49. Yeah, he's poisoned, yeah. Ircom is also under the influence, but he finally made it. Uh, and this is a skip turn right away. Right? No. no. Next time. No. It can be prevented. But Mama is not going for it. Or just don't do a jetpack, please. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <I've> fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna go after the other one and get his skip turn. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's gonna fall. He's been on Mama's Fokker again if he's falling. Yeah, wait, it's mine ahead. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. oh he skipped smart. it. Smart, smart. Oh. He's done his homework. Definitely did, did his homework. Okay, another skip turn, somehow. Um, like zero damage by that engineer, but at least he got a pillbox. The game is very strange. I feel like uh, Com is kind of relaxing right now. Uh, <laughs> I can't say and, you uh, which player is truly relaxing. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like uh, Com is relaxing more because uh, I, fe I feel like uh, Mammo is like sobering up, so he's losing relaxation. So mm, I see. I would say if not the first turn when Magic was not able to body block and heal, it could have been yeah. a whole different game. Yeah, it could have been different. I think if that first turn was vital, that Medic. Oh, oh, my border! Cheater. Disqualification. Cheated death. What? <laughs> he I, used... Yeah, I've he never used seen my this. border. <laughs> I mean, it's not... It's technically not against the rules, so you can do it. <laughs> well, kinda. I mean, he was using the tile, uh, which was uh, out of bounds, so... It kinda... It's mammoth, we get him away. Let him the, get away. The, the rules actually states that you can't use the out of bound uh, border to uh, reach uh, otherwise unreachable places, not to skip mines. So, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Maybe, maybe this uh, this is something that we can uh, we should adjust with the uh, with Middle League. Uh huh, uh huh. Pinstripe is watching, uh, taking notes to remove everything cool from Pin the Pinstripe game. Pinstripe is sweating right now. <laughs> Wait, first uh, cool paratrooper turn. Let's go, let's go. Some cool montage, uh, cool music. <laughs> wow. You the montage music. Solid turn. It's a normal combat. Turn. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Um, okay, if you can hit mines. He's going okay. for water damage. Uh, unlucky, unlucky. I can see what he's trying to do. Uh, I think, I, I think with money grunt, we want to do things, but it doesn't always work in the execution. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those moments, I guess. We've got an image in the head, but it doesn't always come off. Uh, uh, what will be our second uh, map? It will be Pigs in Space. Okay, so um, I've lots of water. Map, yeah. I guess. <clears throat> Beautiful. That's why I never use shotgun. Like uh, it's ridiculous how um, how bad this weapon is. Another jetpack. No, okay. I kind of feel that um, this map is uh, is done. So right now we are just uh, watching pure oh. hawks. No, the breeds. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Self damage. Uh, please, shrapnel. Shrapnel. I'm tired of uh, non shrapnel gameplay. Like, who among the grunts have ever used... I want to see a machine used... gun. 
uh, shrapnel for damage, like not oh. Uh, oh. vehicle damage. He, he doesn't know where the mines are. <laughs> smart, smart. Preparation. Preparation. Yeah, he I did mean, his homework. I, I feel like only. Was Borealis? It? Yeah, I feel also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It mm. was only Borealis that really used the. Uh, <laughs> Ronaldo! Mamma mia! Oh, so... <laughs> oh, wait! Huh? <laughs> That's a ah, cool ah, almost. Like almost, almost a game winning by Mamma, but Ircom takes it. <laughs> yeah, uh, barely, I would say. Uh, so, I guess. Well done. Uh, I like, it's good for Ircom, since he is underdog in this, uh, like, best of three. Right? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, the second game, hopefully, is a bit more closer. <laughs> but they did both did well. Uh, Ircom will start second game, so I guess good luck to Mamoch. Uh, I just think Ircom is just more consistent. Game, not sure, though. I see. Ircom is just more consistent that round. Yeah, he definitely have been. But we will see you at the start of game two.
Welcome back, everyone. It's uh, Hoxover Grand League playoff, and <laughs> we're seeing a match between Ircom and Mamoch. I'm joined with uh, XPy. Hello. And Nate. Hello. Yeah, we are on the second map, which is Peaks in Space. Uh, drama is high, as always, because anyone from those two can be a new Grand League champion and probably Middle League or even Hoxford League champion. We will see. But uh, every huge journey in Hawks society, community, or should I say Hawk community, is started from a single step. Wow. That was speech was out of this world like this map. Thank you. Thank you. So do you have those kind of uh, words uh, scripted somewhere? <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we see in Ircom, uh, he will be second player. I was mistaken at, uh, on map one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 because, yeah, he went first last time. Yeah, Muddy Grenadier, po powerful combo, uh, double para and engineer between them, and uh, someone skip a screen. Thank you. Also Muddy Grenadier. And after going for very strong lineups, this one. Yeah. It makes sense, because uh, Pigs in Space is a quite playing uh, without great map, so you you want to have your best uh, picks uh, there. There, uh, Mama is red again. Uh, I'm sure he is blue right now, so... No, no he's, he's red. Got, he's changed red now. Okay, I see, I see. He means business, that's what it is. <laughs> <changed>. Oh, okay, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> what that? Uh, oh. <laughs> ah, they're trying to get Mama oh, first. Yeah. Turn. yeah, that's fine, yeah. Uh, first restart. So, yeah, nice. it is, Mamo. Alright, he needs to get this turn. He needs to learn from his last mistake and get this turn correct. Exactly. Yeah, that means. Magic should be on the small island. If I am. Oh, he's just going. He's just going straight away for the sapper. Best decision. Choice. And big voices, like pure hoax <laughs> madness. Okay, he's not on the island. Ah, Ircom. Uh huh, uh huh. So, Disqualified. I wonder why. I wonder why Mammoth didn't go for the medic. That'd be interesting. And would it um, cost him? I know exact reason. It's too hard in the state to go far away. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By the way, it can create a very interesting uh, gameplay situation. Uh, uh, of course, he will heal. But what he will do next? He got three he picks will... combined. And he is bunching up his picks. Look at that. Mm, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, very uh, dangerous situation. It's it's all in the turn of, of in this turn of Mammo right now. And Mammoth's got a gr grenadier next, so this could be an interesting. Oh, he's too far away to make use of that bunching up. Well, it's definitely possible. But if he, if Mammo doesn't take care, he doesn't. You know, he doesn't. Uh, uh, do something about it now. I I feel like uh, pig number three or mm, pig number like that, yeah. two in uh, lineup uh, in comms lineup will be there and uh, yeah. Honestly, uh, I'm seeing it so much. Uh, I think it's kind of a theory of Cox of War uh, power balance or something like that. Uh, you can judge on who is better player on uh, the. Um, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. On the execution of uh, cluster, I don't know why, but I'm seeing it all the time. It's something that I, as a weapon, I don't use enough to be honest myself. Mm -hmm. Something that I need to when I come back next year to work on. Yeah, I mean, like, Mamov's got the double poison. Maybe he could, he's going to poison his own medic as well. Mm, no, yeah, oh, yeah. I guess single medic should be enough. Like, you don't even need to go for uh, Engineer. Oh, he's going for all of them. Uh, he got, like, <laughs> the least uh, preferred targets. Yeah, so far it's easy walk for uh, Ircom, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's something... Um... Like a dream for a competitive player, for your uh, paratrooper to be mm, 
A body blocked by Grenadier. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> You can tell it's slightly grunting where they all start to bunch up. Obviously, hmm. I do it myself and I can't tell them you shouldn't be bunching up when I do it myself, but... When you're watching it and thinking, actually, seeing what we all do... I guess right now, great um, possibility for bunching up, but... Probably one of those jetpacks should be... Oh, it's too late to do a third one. I, li I like the way that he's bunched them together using the jetpacks, that's... My, my muff's done well there. Unlucky uh, in the bunch. Mm. I don't like using all the three the deck, but the, the, the jetpacks uh, in the same turn. Yeah. I agree Mostly with because, you know, in 30 seconds, you, most of the time you don't have the time for it. But even in 45 seconds, yeah, I feel like you should always keep one uh, one jetpack for, you know, future uh, future occasion, future, uh, you know, uh, removing yes, uh, yes. a pig with, with the poison or those kind of situation. If you will drop uh, two jetpacks, uh, paratrooper, this paratrooper is already not a huge uh, priority for focusing, so you are not wasting anything. Mm. Well, it's kind of good for Mamax since uh, he will get only one turn of uh, being tranquilized. Like next round he will get that medic advantage, but... Uh... <laughs> it, it depends if uh, Mamo is able to... Cancel in time uh, the, oh. um, uh, the the yellow grenadier. Mm -hmm. All right, what is yes. he doing now? One thirty oh, shot. Yeah, Let's go. Where? Come on. I feel like he took a. He's he's taking his time to do a prayer into a good shrapnel because it, I feel like it's the only way he comes back in this game already. Uh, too much Mamo. movement for a good shrapnel. Okay, resetting. Uh, I don't know what. It too much. Ah. Yeah. Way high. Well, all Ircom needs to do is, I guess, just uh, healing plus uh, tranquilizing, and that's I think, all. I think Ircom just needs to be keep this consistency. He's been consistent throughout. Yeah, pretty much. Just deal with magic next turn, like yeah. tranquilize from from the distance, deal with him, and that's all. You're basically semi-finalist at this point. Pog. Really good shot there. Yeah, actually, his bazookas, uh, mm. they're indeed precise. Oh, wait, his medic will never take a turn. He'll be tranquilized right now, then wait a whole round, mm. and only then he will, uh, like, keep a turn. Wow, yeah, he's in big trouble. Yeah, th that's basically it. Yeah. Even the huge shrapnels will not save him, like, it's not possible. Well. So, you're more experienced player. Uh, in this situation, what would you do if you're Mammoth? Oh, uh, no, let's think. If it would be like map 1 of best of 3, I would just uh, abandon plane. Like, I would take turns, but I would... Uh, Let's stop playing and uh, be re focusing my mind on next map, something like that. Mm, I guess. But if he loses, he doesn't have another uh, another uh, another map, so he needs to focus now and here. I feel like his only way out is to kill the medic uh, with a skip turn to balance out the trunk and then uh, see if uh, maybe Com uh, misses a couple of turns uh, with the grenadier. Because if, if Com uh, makes this and another turn with the grenadier with two good shots, uh, it's the, the, the health pool would be unsurmountable. <laughs> I, I, I honestly got no idea, like, uh, probably, okay, against, even against their com, it's not possible to come back anymore. Like, Ercom is not by any means a terrible player, but, you know, uh, novice players give you more chances, but uh, there is no chance to be given <laughs> to start with. I don't know. I feel like there's the game is still open. I mean, it's too it's too it's too early in the game to say it's it's already it's, he's already dead. But uh, you know, uh, chances are very slim, and you need to 
make the right decisions and hope uh, that your opponent makes as many mistakes as possible. Mm. It's it's rare, but it can happen. Okay. To be fair, I think Ericom's had a close to near perfect game. He's not really done much wrong. No, but yeah. that 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 what makes you win. Uh, you know the, the the games. You know being consistent and doing. Uh, uh, as clean turns as possible. If you do that, uh, you will win most of the ga of the game. But oh. just because uh, you have an, a higher inertia than your opponent. Yeah, you you should only add uh, like crazy decisions mm. if your opponent is doing such. But uh, yeah. Or if you feel like you are very very behind, then you <laughs> can try. You you can kind of go for uh, a crazy a crazy play. Well, if you aren't good, or even if you are ahead, you are just doing them, just because you can. Well, well, there are uh, there are uh, you know players that can and players that can't. Uh, Angurio is a, is a person that can and has the luxury to do. And you know, I'm the player that can't. And, and they, they, just, uh, <laughs> they, they just go go good and. Uh, if I, for example, do play crazy play, then I get probably punished. So I reckon ABA should make me a new league for players like me. <laughs> like a force league? Yeah. <laughs> like c civilian league? Or something like yeah. that. Oh, oh he, civilian league. <laughs> he was doing head jumps and then just uh, did how much? 70, 90? <laughs> so, sorry, what, what would the what would the civilian league imply? Does does you, do you play against the grants? Basically, they have just grenades and uh, and rifle, and you have all the classes. That, that, that would that would be interesting. Yeah, everyone's just grunt. So let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably playing with cheats, like some crazy weapons. <laughs> the cheats. We can climb up walls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Super aqueduct. <laughs> yeah, finally shrapnel. Like player who did shrapnel deserves uh, a victory. Uh, I rest my case on that. I, I'll get your point. I will use shrapnel next season. Thank you. Thank you. I do certainly approve of that. I think I focused on the bombardment way too much. Oh, well, mortar is a crazy good mortar, weapon. Yeah. Oh, good shot again. He's crazily good aim but with that. Irkom is cooking today. And right. uh, you know who can appreciate cooking? Someone with a huge beer. <laughs> with a huge beer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. And a huge hurt, thirst. Problem is though, as Mammoth got himself enough time to tranquilize. Yes, he needs to go for the medic, really, don't he? At Make this Mammoth... point, yeah. no, yeah, it probably. Doesn't... I always uh, feel like uh, Hawks uh, took youth to be in such um, such game. Like their faces are. Look at them. They're like ki kid toys. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's gone for the most horrible weapon in the game. Oh, he's changed his mind. Oh no, is he going back to it? A knife? No, I'm in um, Grenade Launcher Gang, best weapon. He's missed. Uh, grenade Launcher would hit, so you do you. No, honestly, Grenade Launcher, you can hit it from anywhere if you know how to shoot mortars. Uh, save 30, uh, 30 damage weapon. Engineer, you are trying to use shotgun, bah, 25. Good well, luck. He's trying, with do, he's, he's trying to do five head jumps. Uh, he's got, is he on three at the moment? That's four. Or oh, my uh, my math's not correct. Um, it's it's okay. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Yeah. Oh, he did get five. I I shouldn't be a teacher then if I can't count. That's me. Mm. My job over. Ircom is disqualified for um, self damage, and it's one one. <laughs> Oh wait, it's wow, it's first ever survival bonus in quarter final. Much. It is indeed. I uh, I we need it. to check um, Jay Warren games, but yeah.
what do you mean? Uh, poor Jay Warren, he wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, he was good. Th- that's why. Like, he was demolishing oh. everyone. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Probably he did. Right. It might have, might have happened in his playoffs uh, Grand League season. DGR come, he will um, face the winner of... Uh, of, of, of? Uh, he, will he will face, face Zarin, that we know. He, yeah, yeah, I, I just remembered. <laughs> There's definitely no magical voice that remembered us. <laughs> and we're heading to the second uh, game of today, which is uh, Borealis against Varco, right? Or not? Hmm. Yes. Yep. See you there. So stay tuned. We will uh, switch a little bit of the uh, a little bit of commentators. So thank you, Nate, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'll see you later. Right. <laughs>
Hello everybody, hello and good evening. Also, I forgot to turn off my mic, so now they can hear me, they couldn't before. <laughs> hello. This is this has been a terrible mess, but you probably guessed from what happened in the first game that uh, we were late uh, a little bit, but now we're ready to go for um, match number two, and I'm changing this, the things as we speak, because we got Warco and Borealis ready to rumble. The map, the first map is going to be Barnyard Blitz. Let me just change the, the player's cards. Where is Borealis? There we go. Okay, so let's try to enjoy some hogs this time. This is the last quarterfinal of uh, Grunt League 2024. It's uh, Warco, first player from Group D, against Borealis, second player of Group B, which was in your group, Mike. Yes. Uh, I don't like I said. Him. Oh, you do. Oh, you do remember. Okay. I thought you said yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. remember. No, no, I I remember every single match. I remember how I suffered. <laughs> okay, I gave them the Warco the signal to go. They're gonna play in Barnyard Blitz, then Canyon and Morning Glory. That's a tough first two maps. But uh, the most interesting thing for me is that they have both put the medic in third for Barnyard Blitz. That's an interesting choice. You normally would go for 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 Medic Fist in most map, but this time they have, maybe they have something to to do with the uh, the wall in the middle. Did you play Barnyard Blades, Mike? Oh, uh, I don't remember if I played in the tournament. I think I played it uh, offline sometime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you definitely played Canyon, which is going to be map two. Yeah. And we see Barnyard Blade. I'm so. <laughs> I've seen Watko going first. I'm already fried. Oh, yeah, I do remember this map, by the way. From last year, I think I remember, but it's different, isn't it? Uh, not super different. I think the, the crates are still the same. We see Warco immediately going for a very nice tight jetpack. I thought he was going to hit himself with that one. That was very close. That was an aggressive start, and hmm, I, I think he, I could have also collected the uh, air burst before going into the the pillbox. But that is quite a quite a psychologically, you know, impactful first turn. Yeah. Let's see how Borealis will respond. I think he's just gonna go for collecting all the crates, which. Ironically, it does give him a little bit of an advantage, because that's four air bursts. Is Wait, did Warco... Replicate? No, okay. Oh, no, no. I think Warco collected the ones on his side, didn't he? Oh, no, he didn't. That, oh, that's where it is. No, no, no. So, that this guy is pretty dangerous now inside this pillbox, with uh, four air bursts on his side. But he's not going to be able to find a shot out. So... Big, big uh, trade-off here for the two. 30 seconds are not enough. Not for me. <laughs> so one of them got a really aggressive first turn, but the other one got uh, the crates, which are going to be important. How, although, I think Warco was expecting that move, judging from the fact that he's trying to destroy the pillbox now with a shrapnel. Got 150, so a shrapnel isn't going to be enough, but a good 100 hit, which I think that is it, would bring it down enough for another shot to kill it. So you've only played uh, 45 seconds matches, Mike. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm gonna say, how do you, how many matches did you did you watch on 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 30 seconds? I think I I think I I remember telling. You telling me you, you watched a couple? Uh, actually, no, more than a couple, I think. Uh, okay. Every time I see the channel live, I usually watch. Maybe I don't message much, but I do watch. Oh, okay. We got a lurker in our chat. I, I think that I saw that... Uh... Wait, what? What? Huh? Mama, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm here. 
Please entertain the stream, Mike, for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we oh had a, a, a sudden introduction from Mom. Sorry, I'm not able to pay attention right now. He's going for the shot. Got a trank out. Funny. Wait, is he not able to go on, on his other side? Like, I, I wasn't paying attention for that turn. Well, I think... I, I got distracted too. <laughs> yeah, um... The question was just basically... The, the, is Borealis able to heal his pig? I don't think so. No, I think no. Very interesting, uh... Strategies overall for... For Warco. And I think Borealis just got flustered a little bit there. Hmm. But my question is, why was the medic in position number three and not two in this case? I mean, position number one to steal the... the... I, I think I think the reason why Warco went for game three... Um, well, for position three, he, he wanted to destroy the pillbox, maybe... Therefore, oh. he would have a, 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 um, a target for the Trank, but uh, Borealis actually invaded with this second pick, so that gave him another target. Makes sense, makes sense. And coincidentally, that shrapnel before did exactly 110, which makes it that sniper shot was just able to destroy the pillbox. I want to say oh, tactical nice side... Button. I just want to say tactical side advantage for Warco right now, but there's still a lot of pigs on uh, on Borealis' side, and I see Borealis getting very uh, very confused about his uh, his movements. Yeah, uh, it is very good uh, though. When I played it, it was a really nice match. I think um, generally he's a very good player, but I remember. Um, him going very strong in the first three games, including the one with you, and then <laughs> with the when he played with Com, I remember him being very afraid of the result, and that made him play poorly. I think that and also that uh, unexpected unexpected first turn from Warco is what's happening here as well, and this could be a, a an insta kill on the mines, and that is nice. Crucial because that guy had four air bursts and mine kill means they are gone. It's going for the pillbox again. Trying to mimic uh, Warco's shot, I guess, which would destroy it. But yeah, hundred a hundred already is a, a tough uh, mark to hit with a with a pillbox. And the 110 is even harder. I think that was an 86 because of it. But, uh, hmm. Interesting situation here. You could go back inside a pill. Maybe, like, fire a jetpack and go back inside a pillbox. But also... Ooh, that, that was a very high risk of hitting the... The building there. Hmm. I think Warco got a little frustrated, flustered himself right here. He is trying to make the medic go on the mines as well. With the... Um, how is it called? Uh, the roller grenade. Yep. Weird weapon... Does help him in this case. I, I was expecting him to go full, full berserk on the medic there. And the fact that he left the pillbox isn't... Great eater, even though it only had 24. By the way, there wasn't proper time to to say that because we were so in so much of in a hurry in in the setup. But you can say weird shit. <laughs> Just what so I know, mean? I know, I've, I've been in your streams. You're very talkative, so I I, I sense you're a bit, you know. You're no, a bit no, no, on no. breaks right now. No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm not in breaks. Uh, okay. I, I'm actually very focused on the match. I'm definitely not rooting for our teammate. No, not teammate, but yeah. Yeah, we are a little bit of a... We have a little bit of a... Of a 
Uh, what's it called? Okay, I can't get the word. The, the point is, with two Italian commentating a match between an Italian and a German, we might be slightly a bit of biased. Patriotism. Yeah. <laughs> also, this um, the winner of this match will face Rue, which has been the most solid player so far in the league. So it's gonna be interesting to see that as well. When oh yeah, I think that was also another reason why he put the medic in third. I think he counted the turns and went for uh, when the jetpack would come down on on cycle number two. Oh, Jesus, I swear, I don't know shit about this game. That's too complicated well, for me. To, to be to be fair, I didn't remember that a, a jetpack would come down on this map either, because I haven't played it at all, I think, in competitive. This map is very new. It came out last year. Uh, I mean, Pin made it come out last year. Wait, oh, that was a very nice poison from Borealis. He got only two of his uh, of, of enemy pigs. I love that weapon. It's my favorite one as a noob. <laughs> I am totally agreeing with that because that's my favorite too. Very nice mechanic. Yeah. It's what sets it apart from from uh, worms, really, when you think about it. I know. I, I know. It's it's shocking. We never even mentioned worms in in, in a video on this channel. <laughs> what is worms? I, uh, um... Yeah, it's it's the little things that uh, you know live under the earth. <laughs> Not like I wasted my childhood in there. Under the earth? <laughs> no, under <laughs> worms. <laughs> underground. You come from underground. That's that's good to know. You got to remember. <laughs> well, literally because of the place where we did music and played worms completely drunk uh, was underground. So. <laughs> Mm. It did come from there. Good old land party in the basement. Yeah. In the meantime, we see the bar is uh, on Warko's side. Seems to have taken the tactical advantage on the on, uh, first map here, but uh, he also went first. So we have to for the one going in first in the second map, even though it's Canyon, where one of the maps where arguably the first turn advantage is the weakest, I would say, alongside maybe Square Off. Oh, is there turn advantage in this game? <laughs> I guess. I mean, there's there's been a lot of talking over first turn advantage, but uh, I, I stand by my opinion. And by the way, nice skip by Warco there. I stand by my opinion. This is a game where the winner is the one that makes the least amount of mistakes. There's people that say you start wins. There's not people who say there's who starts win. There's people who say on certain maps starting is a mm, very okay. good indication you're gonna win. And on it, I, I do agree on that. Well, if both uh, both players are playing perfectly, I guess. But yeah, no, I'm with you. Whoever makes less mis mistakes wins always. And that could be another mind kill. No. Oh my god! Okay, I'll tell you what happened there. Um, the mine kill works like this. You have to have uh, the pig have the half of the health that he started the turn with to instantly kill him with a mine. Uh, he, uh, Warco did 60 damage. First mine wasn't enough because he was still on 70, but he, the first mine made him bump on the bunk on the wall, and he immediately oh, went back down to another mine. <laughs> okay. That was crazy. And uh, right now, Warco is even kind of con oh, okay. No, not not really, because mm, yeah, you, you gotta do gotta go for a jetpack. You won't be able to make him skip if you uh, don't do the jetpack, because 65 is a kind of a bad number for a sapper. And you can also chain up uh, damage with the paratrooper. Ooh. Hmm, I doubt that's gonna be a 35 on the medic. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, it was a 25. Uh, I'm gonna say good turn, overall, because he uh, used the jetpack to chain two pigs together and do massive damage on both with a TNT. 
he definitely should have uh, thought a little bit more about directing the damage more towards the medic so that he would skip. But he had five seconds, so no blame on him. I, I swear, I, I don't understand how you guys can play with 30 seconds. It's too fast. I, it takes me so much time to understand what's going on that 30 seconds is not enough for me. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes with experience. I guess the, the, the main thing is, uh, on 45 seconds, a very skilled player is very unlikely to make mistakes. That's the main point. So it becomes boring. Like, like we said yeah. before, it, it's likely that the first one wins because of it. But, uh, yeah. Now... Warko kinda Enough. left his medic out after that trank. Very nice kill by nice. Borealis. Yeah, but the bar is really on Warko's <laughs> side right now. I think... Borealis only has his medic and that paratrooper. Was that paratrooper? I don't remember. Okay, no, it's a supper. Oh Whoa, my god! That was cool. That was, as I like to say, gangsta. <laughs> a perfect, almost pi pixel perfect uh, poison from Warco there, because I, I can tell you that much. The poison gas has a huge range, so it takes a lot to almost not hit a pig. And that is also a very nice back, shrapnel. Wonderful shot. Yeah, I was gonna say you deserved more than a 50 with that one. Uh, long range shrapnel is also something we don't see very often. I kind of like this map because it allows people to try these kind of shots. Like, you, you usually see... Uh, usually see people going for shrapnel on a set position, you know? Like, yeah. uh, normalized position, kind, kind of like they're speed running it. But uh, in the poison as well was basically the same thing. We, we have the pe we have something similar with the pecky's move, when you, when you, where you can position yourself, basically body blocking a pig, but you throw the poison in a way that it only poisons him and not you. Oh, okay, I see. I do agree with Machatino there, from, from the chat there. It was an impressive poison, but in the end it was kind of useless because the medic just healed him. Ooh, he's gonna try for a trank. That's a good move. I think that's perfect. Uh, I think if it wasn't for that much of a health advantage, Borealis could claw back into this, but I think it's too late. He started playing well when it was too late, for basically. Oh. Now Dan is gonna try to finish up the medic. He even oh, gets a nice. more than more than thirty, which is uh, was not usable. But you know, oh yeah, we can actually tell it's a fifty because if it was a seventy, he would have exploded on the spot. Now that guy is uh, tranquilized. You might you might as well. He should start body blocking. If he gets... I mean... The, unless unless this medic... Oh no, the medic is poisoning on 5 health. Don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> yeah, listen to me. I'm the pro here. <laughs> yes, you are. Wait, what is he doing? What? Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Well... Hmm. I think... There was a little bit of throwing in the towel there. It did look like one of those turns where we would just stop the game and just interrupt them and just say, okay, it, it, was that lag? <laughs> but yeah. No, it looked like he was about to shoot himself. But... Yeah, a little bit. Um, I mean, that doesn't truly happen anymore uh, since we're starting using netplay. We have had different issues, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I do know. I was part of some issues. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think Chris, which is in chat, by the way, I think remembers what happened there. Holy fuck. That, that, that was... something. <laughs> yeah. We had a couple times where it happened when the game was not over yet, so 
I think you you you, you were even lucky on that regard. Not yet, it was over for me, so. So yeah, we can pretty much say that Warco has got it. One no. Oh, okay. No, the problem is it's kind of hard to hit Schnitzel in that position. There, you need a almost perfect bazooka. I don't know why he's aiming to the right. Never mind. Whoa. I I uh, I should not question his move. Come on, let him play. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook those hams. And unfortunately, Borealis can only use what is considered by many the worst weapon of the game. Because he's out of shrapnels, even. So. Yeah, that's a miss. Uh, long. Oh. Maybe the bounce? Maybe? Oh. Nah. Oh, well, yeah, Warco still has. Pretend that it was made on purpose. Well, yeah. I mean. That's one of the rules of commentary in, in, in this game. When something you're you're not sure whether something is on purpose or not, you assume it's on purpose. Yeah, that's how I throw my grenades. <laughs> Technically these are stream hams. Yes. Yes, Chris. Is uh that this is a reference? I... Yep. It very much he is, and this is a tough angle. Oh! Whoa. I didn't get it, though. Yeah, I think he detonated a little bit too late, but the angle was downright perfect. A yeah, little bit of a uh, late... A okay. little bit unlucky there with the bounce. Oh, that guy was on kill Got range, it, I didn't even know. Now, technically, this guy has the best weapon of the three pigs left on the battlefield. But, you know, it's still a very hard shot to hit behind that thing. Shout out and... to the blimp. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny that people are checking for the blimp, even at grunt level now, because it's so... <laughs> that, that, that thing is such a, such a dick, I know. I think I never hit it other than in training. Yeah, I, guess I mean, I, I, mean I, hit it, I hit it multiple times while speedrunning, so... <laughs> <laughs> Is it random or does it have a specific position and movement? No, I think uh, the way it spawns is random, but then the movements are always the same. I'm not sure on that. I, I do have a couple i have had a couple of occasions where i i, I keep restarting and the blimp in the season is in the same position sometimes oh okay but of course when the game has gone for oh when the game has gone for 20 minutes it's basically random where it is um being serious though this is actually something that players should do when they're playing a game because I don't think this is in any possible way a comeback for for Borealis but the very fact Whoa. that he's not giving up is giving the other player mental strain mm -hmm. yeah and I see what you mean like this is a tactic that uh, people at a high, high, high level do implement that was a very hard sentence <laughs> <laughs> so in high level people don't quit even if they are definitely losing like in i don't know starcraft that after three minutes if they have uh, ah. made one mistake they rage quit well sometimes i mean if it's completely over like 200 health to 60 and there's no like one. yeah and there's like no wall in between to protect him from this from any uh, from any danger, it's clear that it's not o it's over. But like health-wise, this game should have been done five minutes ago, if not more. And the very fact that Borealic is not quitting is, even though by a little bit, it's just taking away a little bit of confidence from Warco. Because in his head, and I I've been in that situation. In his head, this game is still not over. Because he needs. If you're winning, yeah. you're on full focus mode to not to try not let it slip from your hands but that is causing 
uh, mental strain, because of course he's focused for a long time. Yeah, you need to stay focused, uh, drain uh, your energy, and... And, as I say that... But... <laughs> he's listening! <laughs> or maybe not. I'm yep. gonna do a perfect shot. Like, uh... Oh, wait, is he trying to bounce? I think he legit was trying to bounce it in a way yeah. that it would go on the other side. That would have been ridiculous. But I guess GG for trying. And like Zarin says in the chat, remember the Termians never give up, never surrender. It's more of a target shooting ses session. Yeah, I agree, Axby. Well, usually the targets don't shoot you back, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a perfect shot, if not for the wall. A trick shot is another thing that probably melts your brain if somebody does that to you, even if you're winning. I mean, that's sort of what Varko did with the first turn there. Yeah. Like, starting a match where if you lose, you're out, and your, your opponent does that in the very first turn, that shows you he is not afraid of you. Yeah. Now, of course, making a, a, a move that risky... Uh, sometimes uh, results in you failing on your face, falling in your face, so... Oh my god, but, uh, okay, at this point I should say this. When you're in this situation, please look at your bar and repeat the same shot according to the first shot. So, like, the second time you don't miss. That is something so many people aren't able to do. I mean, I guess... Nerves, yes, but... Well, unless they change position, I guess, then you need to... I know, but you're gonna get a feel for it at some point, oh. and... What? Well, actually, uh, Borealis is kinda getting it now. Yeah. I think the, the strategy of uh, making this last longer than it should is paying off. What if he does a comeback right now? It's only 45, a good shot should... should put well, 45, 45 is two shots, that's the problem for Warco, and that is short, I think. Yeah. Uh, um... In a month's time, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, okay, you, you were, uh, uh... Answering to a question in the chat, sorry. And he's not missing any shot. Yeah, I mean he got the he got the the power figured out, and it is easier for him since he got one pig instead of two. Uh, I think at some point Warco should think about maybe putting a hole inside uh, mm -hmm. the minefield. I know I phrased that very weirdly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I would have done that, like, crushing him uh, in some ways. Hurt? Eh. Yeah. Nanjava. Nayava. <laughs> technical Italian term, Nayava. Yes, yes. Very, very, very technical. <laughs> Nayava. Um... Warco <laughs> um, is always undershooting because he's not going full power every time. I think he is really starting to feel the, wow. the the pressure of this situation right now. Needs to land those shots. At the very least, get something because on 45, when your best weapon is a bazooka, you you still need to hit him twice. So if you yeah. get the first one, it's still a massive massive thing because you got you know you're like okay now one more and I'm done. But just stop not using, not going full power, please. Fucking. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna understand it at some point. Quarko, come on, don't make KDB tilted, come on. No, I'm just, uh, I, actually, I'm not even <laughs> hoping for him to win this one right now. I'm just hoping for it to be done. 
card. Because uh, yeah. we got Whoa. Canyon coming up. Oh my god. We've got Canyon coming up, and that's usually another long one. Well, that's why we are here. Yep. If we do go to game three, we got Morning Glory, which is a very short map in comparison. This might bounce in a good way. No. He's still going almost full power. He just needs to go full power. The angles are perfect. Maybe he's listening. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Whoa, wow, whoa. wow, 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 wow. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now the shots are going in, in favor. Like, Borealis has, like, missed one in the last ten. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay, like, for example, this guy. This guy hasn't moved at all. And the enemy hasn't either. So you know the first shot. That's a bit long, I think, but it's probably gonna get something. No. Too far. Like, the idea is that if you didn't move since last turn, you remember what the what, you, what angle you went for yeah. in the previous turn, and you just can adjust it. Yeah, maybe it's the pressure is not thinking enough. Maybe yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely... That, that is way too short. Is he... I think he was trying to do the same thing again, but... This way you try to play it on... Folks. You play it out, folks. Yeah, yeah. Exactly what we were saying before. Uh, we were saying that uh, you can cause mental strain for the, pre for the next maps, but sometimes this happens. Oh my god, I just realized Warco has a rocket launcher. With this guy. How much damage so, does the rocket launcher? Fifty? No. Fifty. Yeah, he could. He could kill him if he saw him. If he could see him. Oh my God! I know. I hit, hit the pole. The 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 the, the column. Whatever. Oh oh. This is definitely a full health, full power shot. That's. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, please. Again, I'm not even rooting for anyone, right? I'm, I'm just, I just want this to be done. Okay, this this cool. is, yeah, but this is too short on the angle this time. Oh my god! How much has this been going on, guys, in the chat? Tell me, please, because I'm going crazy, and I thought the first one was crazy. Crazy? No, no, no. We don't. We're not on Twitch, Mike. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so one kill for Borealis. So there's one more pig from Warco. He has 112, so he's technically still in a very big advantage. Uh, Borealis needs four perfect shots to kill him. Warco needs one good shot and a terrible one. <laughs> Not terrible one. <laughs> I didn't and expect this ending at all, I swear. I didn't either, and uh, Warco, I think Warco fired the exact same shot as he did in the, than the previous turn. He don't need, doesn't even need to... Wait, I think he hit the blimp? No. Yeah, I think he hit the blimp. I did see the, the direction change of the camera. Oh. Okay. He raised it a little bit. And... 14! Okay, 14. he's now one shot away from one shot away from kill. I mean, if he does get at least uh, 20... 31. Changing position. Which is a good move. So like I said, even if Warco does manage to get this shot... Borealis has uh, gotten himself a pretty good mental advantage for, for the wow. other two maps. Nice shot. Probably this is why the devs introduced sudden death as a feature of the game. I mean, it's barely even used, so... Never saw sudden death. Is it like in Worms? It's like Without one of the... the in the option. I think it's... I don't even... No, for sure. I think it's just uh, you get um, everything you get gets to one HP. 
mm, at okay. some point after some turns. But let's see. This looks like a little bit too much to the right, but it's not. Good enough. It is game it is for Warco. Over. Fucking finally. <laughs> <laughs> it was about fucking time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's about the right reaction. But Warco, after dragging it out uh, at the very end there, takes game one. And yeah, we're gonna take a little break and be back for map two on Canyon.
and we're back. Hello, we're hello, back. hello. We're what about a fast to... first match, huh? Yeah, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but on all seriousness, uh, it was a good, it was a good uh, stalemate because again, it was one of those matches where the stalemate was a good move for one of the two players, and therefore it's 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 tactical. It's not uh, goofy, goofy craziness of just not being being yeah. afraid of going to the other side. Borealis I wonder had... if I wonder if Warco is gonna suffer from it on map two. I think we're gonna see that uh, very well because we got Canyon coming up. Warco is on the quote unquote bad side of Canyon, the one where on thirty seconds it's very hard to invade the other side, and you can see that in the lineups where Borealis has uh, much more powerful short range pigs. And also Borealis has to go first, so he's got yeah. he's definitely got an advantage here. We see him go first with the Grenadier, which makes me think he's got uh, a prepared shot in 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 his mind. There's a few prepared shots with the Grenadier from both sides. But uh, this is this one is the most famous. Like you go to that angle there and just shoot. Oh, the, cheating! The leftmost guy there. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because that line says, "Please be quiet. It's hard to concentrate." Oh, this could be an insta kill. No. Or Ooh. no. A fun fact, that spawn was originally very much closer to that edge there, but it was moved away because that area is very dangerous with out of bounds kill. Ooh, cool. Thanks, Spin. Yep, thanks, Spin, as always. And I think, speaking of prepared shots, I think Warka's gonna show us one now. So you guys prepare shots? Damn, I feel so bad now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> In groups, you probably do don't do it. At a high level, at a high level, yes. But yeah, that is nice. one hundred percent a good a, a prepare shot, but also a good shot, and also a bunch up. No, because he moves. Get unlucky on that, because I think uh, I think the sp the spawns on Canyon are completely random, so it could have very well been a a, a good bunch up for Warco. So, Drunk interestingly game. enough, Borealis is not traversing, not, not going to the other side. Going for damage. Hmm. Yeah, I think the best thing you to do is... there's some uh, hidden plan by Borealis? Ooh, that might be a miss. Yeah. And it is. Hmm. I think uh, there was no reason to invade with the scout, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Borealis knows that Warco's lineup isn't fit for invading anyway, so he figured he would just go on the other side with the correct pig, basically. He's not body blocking, though. You're going on the other side. This pig is now a very clear target. Bye -bye. Good shot. And possibly Down water goes. damage. All damage and water damage. Wow. Okay, we see the damage from that cluster before it was an 80. And, ooh, this guy now has all the time in the world to dump all the jetpacks on this guy. Wait, did... Oh, okay. Borealis went uh, under the spawn for the crate that just dropped. He collected one extra jetpack. Ooh, okay. No time left. Ah, it's a bit too long, yeah. So, very good plan for Borealis here. 
everyone is smart, but me. So why also do people do still use this weapon? Why do you guys use it? Sorry. Ooh, I was gonna say that's why, but he got unlucky there. See, I'm right. Stop using the mortar. Eh, you know, Anguria would be very bad. With, with, we're very mad at what you're saying right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, you're forced to use two gunners now in the current uh, competitive rule set we have. Interesting, he's going for the Grenadier here. That's a very tough shot. I think it's going over. It? Maybe? Oh, Whoa. just a few pixel away from being exactly on his head, which is why, you, which is what you should aim for when you have a shrapnel. Oh, more mortar. Oh my god. I mean, this guy is a sapper, so it's not. There's not much he can do unless he goes on the other side. But Borealis conveniently put the, that gunner down in a previous turn, so he's got a target. Mm, although a shrapnel isn't very ideal here. It could get a very big hit still, but that's... Okay, nice. that's a kill. Nice. Uh, yeah, You need Borealis. to stop jinxing ADB, huh? Every time I you know. say something, the opposite happens. I know, I know. That's what. That's why I, I, I am the main commentator. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, for example, right now I'm going to say that uh, Borealis started this match very well. So, oh, no, yeah, no. <laughs> like, like, no, no kidding. Uh, this was a show of a perfect, perfect plan, as opposed to a perfect plan, I would say, from Warco in map one. Now he goes. Oh, nice. He's got a bunching up there. Grandier's gonna move. Grandier's probably going to invade now. Yeah, he's using... I don't really know if I can call it a shortcut. It's weird. Ooh, that's a lot of damage there. He needs to get the cluster out. Another more damage. Ouch. No time, shoot. He gets the target done, and I can tell you that from experience. If you hit a pig with a cluster uh, below his feet... It's very easier, it's much easier to get more damage, so... Mm -hmm. I'm taking notes meanwhile, I'm stealing all this info yeah. for next year. So, it did take a lot of damage in going to the other side. He panicked when he was tra traversing to the other side, but uh, he did get a very good cluster in the end. It, it, it was uh, a pick on 150 that got down to 61, I think. I get the double poison. Unfortunately for Warco, that's all he can do with this punching up, considering he had a scout. But still, it's a double poison, so... In a game where there's no medics! Oh, he's gonna go for the 35 damage poison here. Interesting. I mean, it's a correct... It's a good move in the end. Because uh, that yeah. scout, I think, was on... 40, 30 something, so if Warco remembered the health of his health, that was gonna be an easy skip turn. So better to take him out. Ooh. That's a lot of water damage there for that get back, and he's now on 27. Still needs a bazooka to kill him. That's a, that's actually a hard bazooka. Unless you direct shot. Just need a tap. Oh, that's a bit... Okay, no, it's not. Too... Enough, enough. Grenadier's down. Uh, Borealis is down to three pigs, but I think they're still very healthy, as shown by the bar. And unfortunately, Warco should have focused this guy more, because he's got a lot of jetpacks to use. Now he goes to... Yep. It's gonna lose him a little bit of time because of the uh, swim, and he's still got two jetpacks. So I think it is important now for Warco to somehow take down this pig before he has another turn. It's gonna be two jetpacks wasted for Borealis, and that gunner is untouchable, I swear. 
does have a shell. Some of you will remember in the chat that was the position that basically gave him, uh, gave a Fox the famous uh, qualification via slip <laughs> with Revan. And also another very funny moment, the, the skater, the, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater skip. That was so what? funny. Yeah, that was there was a moment where like basically that on that um, on that little hill, one pig slid all the way from one side to the other because he got like a I don't oh. know a, a, the, the 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 angle of a of a polygon in a weird yeah. way. So he basically like skated <laughs> from one side <laughs> to the other. <laughs> nice. So let's see. Warko still nice. has two pigs. I think they're not very healthy. There's a paratrooper with no jetpacks and the gun, the untouchable gun. They're still on 124. Uh, Borealis has an 80 and poison sapper, a 90 paratrooper with two jetpacks and a 140 gunner. So, oh no, wait. Warko still has also a poison B scout and poison down there. Let's see. This is the last mortar for Nobby. Seems good. Seems good, yeah. Ooh. Perfect. I was gonna say almost uh, a perfect mortar. Like, uh, did you ever see a perfect mortar, uh, Mike? Uh, I don't think. No idea. Basically, you know that mortar spawns three little shells once you, the, the yeah. first one explodes. Sometimes one, two, or even all three shells instantly explode as well, so that gives extra 20s oh. to the pig. But it's like pixel perfect. Angurio is very well, is very good at doing the, these. Of course he is. He's a god. Well, let's see. Borealis is trying to get a skip here. This TNT <clears throat> is very important for him. That guy is on 16 now, and that's a skip. 100%. Never mind. <laughs> no. No, it's not. What is wrong with me tonight? <laughs> it's late. You're tired. And actually, this is a very important thing for Warco, because he's going to get a 35, probably, if he does the uh, self-hit poison. And possibly water damage as well on a 140 gunner. That's crucial for this game. Yep, he just needs to tap it. Okay, good. Oh, I was scared in there. Yeah. Let's just say the the, safe, the safest way to do this would be to just aim it all the way up and just tap. Mm. Because, you know, the, the, the shots, bazookas, everything, actually spawn a little bit behind the pig when they, when they are thrown. Or shot, I guess. So, if you throw, if you aim all the way up and and a, a fire a shot, the shot will actually fall a little bit behind your back, behind your shoulder. Okay. Well, they exchanged spot in there? I guess so. Hmm. Actually, this might not be completely over. I don't like Warko's positionings, but let's see. What is, what is gonna, this gonna do? This could also be another skip if he gets a good spin, and this is a skip! Oof. And I, I don't think he's next. No, he's not next, but no. how is this gunner gonna deal with it? I think Warko is back in the game. Yeah, I mean, last match told us never say never until it's the end, so... Yeah, now Borealis has to either leave it alone or just go for three jumps on the head, which is going to be very hard. What is he doing? He needs to go for... He needs to get a 50 to kill the paratrooper there. He's going to bazooka with water damage. I think that's a good idea. But he misses! No! No! That is... Not going to seal it, but almost. I mean, okay. Recollect ourselves. Uh, 
Warco needs to hit the paratrooper for 40, because that's exactly how much he has, I think. If he goes up, if he goes up there and fires a shot on his feet, that would guarantee the kill. That's what he needed to do now. And he gets a 32. Oof. I think almost hit him uh, also hit himself a little bit. But the sapper skips now. Skips now, yeah. And oh god, oh god, this this guy can also collect weapons. How much is the gun they're on? Se 77. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, he needs a, a very good hit. I think this shot decides everything. Does uh, getting a good amount of damage for Warco? Too much? Could... No, maybe good. No, that's a Whoa. fifty. That is a fifty. Um. Yeah, I think. I think I think Warco is in front right now. Yeah, he's definitely in front. Nobby Nobby can't be killed. Uh, next turn is gonna be an easy skip. On the on the gunner, and then this guy is left with eight HP, and it's almost one hundred percent game over. Four I do HP agree with you guys, time. but uh, you know, um, I do agree with you guys in the fact that thirty seconds mixed with the playoffs pressure is hard. But this is uh, really the only option we have right now, because uh, some people starting with for some people starting with thirty is hard for some people, and then we have these guys, which if they were playing at forty-five, they would be OP. And also, is Marco doing the wrong thing right now? <gasps> no. Okay, Marco. Just gave the game back to Borealis here. Because... Why? I think Borealis is going to go for drop. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. He needs a 50. If he, he's going to go for a draw. That makes perfect sense. Uh, mm -hmm. That is ridiculous, though. That ending... Yeah, Warco made a terrible mistake there. Like it was a the correct move would have been to go the to the gunner and make him skip with a uh what's it called? Uh machine gun. But even mm -hmm. if he didn't do that, all he needed to do was not not hit himself because at that point Borealis would have had two pigs to kill with one turn left, which was impossible. Damn. Jesus Christ. Okay, but Borealis is back in the game. Because technically, this is a two, uh, one point for each. So that means Warco is ahead to one. And we're going to need to play map three. And if Borealis wins, we are tied and we need a fourth map. I never saw a match with a fourth map, so... It never happened. <laughs> it never happened. So... Oh, okay. Can be a first. Yeah. Uh, just because of the possible uh occurrence of having have have a fourth map uh, we're gonna just sp immediately speed back to the guys and try to set up map three we're gonna be yeah. back
All right, we are back. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Warco is 2-1 ahead, but we're still playing because map two was a draw. Uh, wow. While I go, the I get the signal for Warco to go. Uh, we can see that he has the he has a slightly stronger stronger lineup here with uh with the couple medic and grenadier together. Borealis has got the medic, but as we know, especially if Borealis goes first, uh, a couple isn't unbeatable. So, uh, in the eventuality that we uh go to a draw after map three, uh, this is is in the rules. It just never happened. Uh, Axe by is. Writing that in the chat right now, we have to draw a map for on the spot. I will, I would do it, and then the players have to play stock ranks, which means the default ranks that you get when you enter the multiplayer menu, right? Wow, cool. Uh, which is paratrooper, gunner, scout, supper, and grenadier in fifth. Warco goes first, by the way. Uh, but the interesting thing is, if we went to map four. Because Warco now went first, Borealis would have to go first. Okay, so it's not random, okay? Yeah, exactly. It, it, it gets random only if we ever possibly get to a fifth map. Hartley. Or another oh, draw. <laughs> Ooh, but Warco isn't able to find the medic. No, Moma, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Interesting though, because Borealis doesn't exactly have a lot of time to get to the other side. Move it, move Borealis, move! Oh, okay. Maybe they just decided to trade each other a trank without doing MOBA, which is fi fine, I guess. If we go to game five, we cry. I mean, if we go to game five, I probably wouldn't be able to talk at all because it's it would get so late. So I would have to actually call one, call someone in to commentate instead. <laughs> oh no, they started a death match. Oh. Well, all right. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Okay, I had to rush back in because they started right away, and actually, uh, I asked the players whether they wanted to re-roll the first, uh, the, who went first, uh, or just stick with Warco going first. They said re-roll, but Warco goes first again. Seems fair to me. Oh yeah, for those who is uh, for those who don't know what the death match is, it's ba it's a, a different game mode than. Uh, regular uh, survival, I think it's called in the game, which is funny because in Worms it's the opposite. Deathmatch is last pig standing. In Hogs instead, Deathmatch is a point-based game. When you kill a pig, you get two points, and the pigs respawn when they yeah, die. It's for filthy casuals. Yeah. So, of <laughs> course, we can't play a competitive match when the pigs respawn when they die, so we had to restart. Uh, so, Warco got the MoMA this time, which is important. <laughs> and he is also doing the correct move with the Grenadier. Body block on the fifth pig. And cluster on someone else, which is a bit mediocre on the damage, but still. Very strong start for Warco in 
uh, regardless. That so, much tournament can be fun, probably. I mean, it's a, t a completely different meta, and I think... Um, I think Bobby at some point tried to pitch it as an idea, but, you know... Uh, not that I wouldn't... I would actually take part in it. It's just uh, it didn't. it never happened. For, re for, you know, time reasons. Very good hit here for Borealis. Yeah. Not only the 40, but the, also the correct angle to get a very good amount of water damage on Percy. I second the Deathmatch League. Okay, now we, we <laughs> spread it a disease. Ooh, oh my god. Very near to the palm tree. Yeah, and trees in this game have very weird hitboxes, so I was very afraid there for a second. But a very good combo jetpack. He could be able to fire a bazooka to finish it. Yep. Just in time. And once again, something for good. those who don't usually watch competitive. He had 24, so technically he could have gone for uh, the cattle prop there to kill, to make sure the, the, of the kill. But if he did, then he would be in a very bad position himself. So the, the bazooka was the correct move, even though it makes the shot a little harder. <laughs> Deathmatch, 10 second turns, all grenadiers. <laughs> the chat is going crazy on <laughs> Well, now oh. you guys need to do that. Oof. Very good uh, attempt at a double there for Borealis, but he only gets the first one. Yeah, the biggest problem for Borealis now is the enemy Grenadier, because again, uh, when you body block the last pig of the, of the enemy lineup with your Grenadier, that means that everyone else cannot hit him, Except the fifth pig. And the fifth pig in this case is a gunner, so almost impossible to do anything effective to the Grenadier. A funny part, even if he did a perfect mortar, the Grenadier would still be alive with like six health. It is swimming? Yep. Very good uh, Hawkeye, as I, as I like to, to call it for Warco. He spotted the position mistake and just went there with a the TNT. Doesn't want to go on map four. <laughs> Definitely, because uh, in all seriousness, Warco basically gave it to Borealis the second map. Yeah, because uh, it was it was a, a one match. He just made a very very bad mistake that. Uh, and we were telling we were um, Borealis was telling me in the in the voice chat between map two and three that he would have liked to go for the win like instead of going for the self kill he could have tried to go for a full 50 mortar but he didn't feel like uh he didn't feel like it yeah when safe makes sense well safe is a strong word for that because now he's <laughs> stuck in this yeah. in this situation where he needs to win to go on another map true Wrong, wrong button there, I think. <laughs> uh, is this going to be enough to kill? I think that TNT did way more damage than we... Yeah. So, yeah, that guy was on full health. So, that tells you that that TNT did more than 100. Oh, but the MoMA is reversed now. I didn't catch that. Um, again, another explanation for <laughs> first-time viewers. There's not many, probably, but whatever. Um, MoMA is when you tranquilize the enemy medic, and MoMA reverse is when the one controlling the medics accidentally kills one pig of the enemy team, therefore the turns... Uh, the, the, the turn order is... The turn order is skipped, and the other medic goes first instead. I explained it very badly, but I think you get the point. Yeah, it's a nice acronym, though. What does that mean? It mo it uh, means medic on medic action. Yeah. And right now, that medic swap 
was crucial for Borealis because he was able to take the Grenadier out before he could use another cluster. And that is huge for him right now. I think with the scout already gone, if uh, Warco had gone out another cluster with a good amount of damage, this game was a, would have basically been over. Let's see? Ooh, almost punched up there. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. The gunner is moving now. And War uh, Borealis is starting with the body blocks. It is a good one idea. Thing I never learned how to do. I mean, I always forget the order. Yeah, basically the idea is you have less pigs than your opponent. That was a very good mortar. Yeah. Uh, middle distance mortars are, in my opinion, the hardest ones because full power you kinda know where it reaches. Mm -hmm. Short distance you can just learn a distance and go with it, but middle distance mortars are the hardest ones because you have to actually judge the shot on the spot. Um, but to go back to body blocks, they, uh, if, if you are down on pigs, you can put yourself next to, you, to the enemies in a way that it, it makes the enemy uh, uh, forced to hit a specific pig. Yeah. Because the medics aren't body block, of course. They're never gonna stay out of that. And uh, right now, oh yeah, but that's still the, there's still the paratrooper. If if Borealis had body blocked the paratrooper now, this guy would have been forced to use a sniper rifle because sniper rifle is the best thing about against body blocks. And I wonder if he's gonna go for a poison or the simple snipe here. A poison on this guy would be very good. Oh, okay. Poison? Yeah, I think he figured he would do the the simple kill with a 40 after the first head jump, but then he f won for the poison. Does this guy have jetpacks? He does. Yeah, one left. The problem is, he could have gone to the other side to make it easier for his own medic to heal him. Now... He needs to do something about it. And 15 is actually a very good number to avoid a skip turn. If you position yourself in a way that the enemy can't head jump you, there's no no uh, no weapon that does less than 15. So, except the bayonet. But who the fuck uses a, a bayonet with a grenadier? <laughs> <laughs> Probably me. He decides to go for the kill instead. Uh... Now he's got two pigs versus four. Which on one hand makes it even easier to do body blocks. Ooh, there's Ooh, mines nice. in here. I forgot there were mines in this map. Oof. You should always go back when you fa fail to jump. Even though you, s you feel like you don't have time, you're gonna be uh, losing much less health if you go back. It's difficult, though, to, to Did go Did he back. hit himself? No, it doesn't seem like he hit himself a little bit. It was a 41 mortar. Yeah, it's something you need to... You force yourself to do. Uh... Hmm... 2v4, but again, Borealis is using the body blocks in a very clever way, and, uh... Warco is ne needs to use this opportunity of having no body block. Very good shot. Managed to nice. not hit his own pig and also get water damage. None of them is doing big mistakes so far, I think. Yep, I think uh, so far this Morning Glory is my favorite map of the, of the entire stream. Hmm, I don't understand this move here. You lost a lot of health to, for, to do this. To stop. Stop. The sapper. 
If he's not next, that's a mistake. He is next, okay. Yeah, he's next, okay. Still, I don't like the idea of losing that much health for the medic. He's probably gonna be the last pick standing for you, and you need him to be uh, very healthy. Let's not forget, Warco has his own medic on the other side, still on a uh, good amount of health, I think 80, and two tranks, so... I'm sorry if I talk a lot over you, by the way. No, 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 go for it. You know way more than me, I'm here just to... I don't even know why I'm here, I suck at this game. <laughs> Well, the way the reason you're here is because uh, I think you noticed for all the quarterfinals we gave the chance for yeah, to yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. players uh, to commentate. Very nice skip here from Borealis with the mine, and I think it's now getting down to the map game. This is a two, which means two head jump. So no more chances for body blo for body blocks for Borealis, and again. Warco's medic still has two tranks. It's gonna be crucial that he uses them in the correct way and of co and also crosses over without losing too much health. That is what's going to decide this game for me. That's a very nice yeah. map tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's still on a hundred. Oh yeah, because he only took two tranks. Yeah, this is this is a crucial turn. Okay, decent skip. He's gonna go for the heal. I don't think he has time. He's going to go for it. And he has to trank the gunner. He has to trank the gunner, otherwise it's gonna be a big trouble. He's tranking the medic. Uh oh. No, he doesn't fire no. it! Oh, shit. He doesn't fire it! And now this is going to be a double hit for Warco, and it is most likely map 4. Holy... Um, Unless Warcock finds some very good weapons in there, and maybe, like, manages to... ...get them close to each other with the two tranks? I don't know. It's probably impossible. Now, trank the medic, 100%. You you can't trunk the gunner. I would I would punch you in the face if you tr tr <laughs> uh, trank the gunner after this. <laughs> Aggressive coaching. Yeah. What a choke, yeah. Because again, even if he drank the wrong pig, it was still very good. Uh, a situation, but he needed to get a trank out. Yeah, I think... The only possible way to bring this back... Would be to, to hope on uh, the rifle burst missing from the enemy medic. Yeah, but there's, it, they're, they're both on two shots to kill. Also, why are we not collecting the crate? I don't know what that is, but it's probably good. Yeah, it's a good shot, but unfortunately it's not enough. Not enough. Because, um, Borealis is going to heal? Maybe? Maybe maybe he doesn't do it because he, he is not uh, he's afraid of uh, killing the enemy as well. Okay, no. Yeah. That's basically game. Even if he doesn't hit the triple hit, which I don't think he will with this shot. Never mind. Yeah, he did and it. And we have map three. Very so sad. For the first time. Yep. Very sad for me because Warco really choked it on both yeah. map two and three. So... Well, uh, I don't even know what, how to do this, but uh, okay. Let me let me just get the the thing. Get get the thing. I know, I know. Uh, map. 
collector. Uh, I need to... I'm actually going to show on stream the map. Because why not? Uh, Start on the mats in chat, guys. Yeah. Random list. There. List randomizer. That's what I was trying to get. Okay, so... Can you see this on stream? I think so. Check. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is the list of maps. Of course, there are some that you that they can't get. Uh, like for example, the ones that are going to be in the semifinal. There are ones that were also tonight. But you know, let's randomize and see what happens. Dusty Ridge. There is it. The first one is good. So Dusty Ridge. Is going to be map four, and I'm gonna go. We're gonna go to the guys to let them know. So. Right, we're back to this. <laughs> Don't cry. No, I was just a, an intentional uh, voice crack. But we are back to this, believe it or not, because we have to play the fir for the first time ever uh, a tiebreaker in a playoff match. And as you can see, it was very easy to set up because we knew the map, we knew the lineups, so we didn't even have to change file. Um, yeah, so Warco is, uh, uh, Borealis is going to have to go first, because uh, Warco went first in map 3, yes, um, and they have to play with stock ranks, so Parachuper in first, Gunner in second, Scout on third, Sapper in fourth, and Grenadier in fifth, and if you ask me, Grenadier in fifth does mean that they both have to, uh, go for him as soon as possible, but considering we are so, 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 so laid into this, they're probably very tired, and it's not guaranteed that they will be able to kill the Grenadier right away. Now, I love the stock rule. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Lovely. I don't... I think we actually established this last year or something. I don't remember if before or after... Whether it was before or after the uh, main league. Okay, we got the slide jetpack. The swoosh. <laughs> Boreal is going for the scout, which I'm assuming two jetpacks and a bazooka. Or even two jetpacks and a uh, homing missile, why not? Yep, oh, those were bazooka. Nice. 
Nice. Uh, again, it's important that they track the Grenadier down. As soon as possible. And... Appreciate Warco at least going for another pig that isn't the paratrooper. I think he's gonna have to stick with this sapper. Don't think he has time for another jetpack, maybe? Yeah, on nine seconds he... Ooh, no, firing Ooh. too fast. Yeah, it seems like the mental strain that we've got... We yeah, talked about ever since tired. game one. Really got to Marco. Yeah, probably that uh, I will never surrender mode did really something yeah, we... to his brain. I think it's just okay. Ooh. Limp hit and also double hit on himself. Okay, this match is still not <laughs> over, guys. <laughs> I am honestly scared of what's going to happen. Match five. No. Come on. I think five, at any seven. moment I'm gonna be told to shut the fuck up. Right now, <laughs> so... <laughs> the police is gonna knock. Yeah. Uh, where the fuck are the Grenadiers? There's one? But it's okay, that was, oh. that was there. So Borealis actually tried to go for the Grenadier with the gunner, but... The blimp said no. Um, it's a good thing that the stock ranks don't include the medic. Yeah. Because that would be pretty weird as a as a strategy to go with. I mean, at least the, 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 the Grenadier in 5th at least is very straightforward. Like, like, go for him. But the medic in a late position would be very like, awkward. I'm gonna go for a double. That's way too low power for a double, but he does get the Grenadier, and problem is he has to take care of the health crates, otherwise the Grenadier can heal himself with these. Come on, Warco. Uh, I think the Grey Grenadier is the one all the way to the angle there on the top right, right top left right now. See, we haven't seen him at, at all. I'm gonna get a better position. I think he just looped de looped around the, the thing. Yeah, he has to go for something. Okay. Match 5 gank represent. <laughs> Come on, everybody wants it. Let's. Yep, I mean, this one will go down in history, uh, regardless <laughs> of how it ends, so. Ooh. I think you have to go for a shrapnel. If you get him down to a very high, a very low number, it's going to be big. Going for the dynamite, though. That's also crazy that the guys may see this map for the first time. Warco did play it. I remember because I commentated it. I don't know about Borealis. So, yeah, Warco... Not, not, not Warco. Uh, Borealis went for a simple TNT. Warco has to go for a trap. No. In for a TNT as well. TNT is the best, sorry. I mean, I know for a fact that, uh, that uh, Borealis has watched probably every single match, so he does know the map. Don't worry about it. Morialis played the against Hero Witch. Thank you, Chris. Um, again, it's past the point of criticizing players for uh, having to do something instead of something else, but both players did not go for the Shrapnel on the Grenadier, and that probably tells you enough about their uh, hiredness at not right now. Okay, so I'm assuming Borealis is going to try to make him skip, because otherwise it doesn't make sense to try that grenade. Ooh. And he's on 11! He's on 11, wow. so he's gonna get a turn, and he can kamikaze on the other grenadier.
which if he does it correctly can do even uh, can absolutely kill that guy 100 percent if he does Very it correctly. lucky shot one hp jesus yeah it, it is crucial for warco that he gets the skill Uh. Oh. Can it be? No, I don't think so. It wasn't even close. He, he did explode himself, but... He tried to do what he, what I told you before with the poison, but the mm -hmm. problem is he hit himself way more than the enemy like that because the yeah. cluster grenades don't have as much range. Uh, he could be in skip range, though. And there, li there is little uh, Borealis could do at that point. But, oh, okay, never mind. This guy is probably dying. Scout is probably dying. That Oof. is... Not a kill. I was expecting more, but that guy is on 6 health, I think. Can probably put them close to each other, I think. At the very least, check the health. You need to know how much he has to know if he needs a jetpack. If he's below 40, you don't need a jetpack. I mean, it's tired and everything. So... Yeah, you know, he's not even doing anything. Uh. No! <laughs> no! I'm having a hard time commentating that. <laughs> okay, so, what happened is, Warco got a glimpse somehow of the Grenadier's health. We didn't, or at least we didn't notice. He saw that he was on 23 and tried to go for a jetpack plus 3 head jumps, which makes absolutely no sense on 30 seconds. 